It's mathematical, it's mathematical, symbols and signs. The most complex becomes simple with time. Mathematics. See what you can find when you start to look for the way that discipline mind. Mathematics. Logic and proof that's used to turn mathematical tools. Mathematics. Step into class, I'm gonna turn a bell rings, I hope you're ready for math. In a right triangle, given two sides, use the Pythagorean theorem you can find. Unknown values, so you have three. Level on your sides, you got A, B, or C. Looking for the C, this is where you find me. On that side, right across from the 90 degrees, that angle with the little square. Shaped like an L for the legs are there. If we call the legs, what do we call the third side? It's a hypotenuse, say if you heard right, hypotenuse. Longer than the other two, so to find the missing side, this is what you're gonna do. Set up the equation, see it's on its own. Of the three numbers, it's always alone. It goes A squared, yeah. Plus B squared, yeah. Equals C squared, yeah. That's right. Use the Pythagorean theorem, you can find all known values, so you have three. Label all the sides with an A, B, or C. It's what you do it when you're given both legs. Square them, add them, see what you get. Take the square root of that, that's the last step. Now just find the hypotenuse. It's a little different when one leg is missing. Set up the equation, everything in its position. Square the hypotenuse, same for the leg. So try the small number for the bigger one to get. Down to the last step, take the square. So I'm pretty sure that you know what to do. It's the last step, take the square. So I'm pretty sure that you know what to do, right? In a right triangle, given two sides. Use a Pythagorean theorem, you can find. All no values, so you have three. Live on your sides with an A, B, or C. C, C, C. 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 C